I'm Mike. And I'm John. And we're back at the Rock West Experimentation Lab because we have some really uh, basic questions that a lot of our viewers have been asking about carbon fiber. Right. Specifically regarding carbon fiber versus steel versus fiberglass. But right. one of the things I was hoping you could um, elaborate on is does carbon fiber corrode like metal? Uh, no, it does not. Metals will break down and oxidize and then create rust and uh -huh. steel and uh, even aluminum will corrode eventually. The difference is we have carbon fiber, the fibers don't uh, corrode and don't break down, don't oxidize. Same with fiberglass. The only problems you do have are with the resin system that binds them together. They can be susceptible to chemicals or UV or things like that. So pick your material for the application and you'll be fine. All right, carbon fiber, fiberglass, non-corrosive. You do have to watch out for UV degradation. Yes, but only on the epoxy resin. But you can fix that if you, if you can afford to. You can paint it and that will keep the UV rays from, from oxidizing the epoxy resin. All right. You can also clear coat it. They have UV resistant clear coats. So if you want the look of it, you can clear coat it. Excellent. So carbon fiber, fiberglass, they don't corrode. Right. What about, I've heard, since it's not metal, right? can it go through an x-ray detector? Interesting question. It's called attenuation, and that's where an x-ray will stop penetrating. All right. Carbon fiber has excellent attenuation where it actually passes through it. Fiberglass does not. It will actually stop it. So a fiberglass belt buckle you, you, you will, will show up. Yeah, you will see the fiberglass belt buckle, but you would not see a carbon fiber belt buckle. Interesting. It does have some limitations on what is in the resin additives. So if there's a fire resistant additive in there, you would see the cloudiness of that additive. Radio frequencies. Yes. Radio waves. How does fiberglass versus carbon fiber compare? In a nutshell, carbon fiber is reflective. Like a mirror? Right. Okay. And fiberglass is translucent, which means it can penetrate it. All right, so that's why we use fiberglass for radomes. Correct. Covers for antennas. Right. For low, for low frequency, fiberglass works great. For high frequencies, we use a fiberglass family material called quartz fiber. Right. Another question we had from one of our viewers, they asked why is carbon fiber and fiberglass used so frequently in the marine industry? Well, uh, in the marine industry, it's quite simple. Water will not affect it. It doesn't penetrate it. It won't absorb it. Um, so wooden boats, they float, but over time, if you don't treat them, they will actually absorb water and so they have to be treated to, to prevent that. Fiberglass and carbon fiber won't absorb the water, so they float forever and they will never corrode. Back to the corrosiveness. Exactly. All right, this stuff's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I like this carbon fiber stuff. It's really neat stuff. Well, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email John or me. We'll be here. Have a great day.